Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Tuesday the 16th of July. The Minister in Charge of Pharmac has set out his expectations for the organisation, including changing how it considers the treaty. David Seymour's released his letter to the drug buying agency this afternoon. Here's senior political reporter Sophie Trigger. Seymour says Pharmac was previously required to consider how it can contribute to embedding tertidity across the health sector, which he doesn't believe is appropriate. The letter also outlines that Pharmac should have appropriate processes to ensure people living with illness and their carers and family can participate in decision-making around medicines. Seymour says he supports the independent procurement model, so Pharmac operates at arm's length from the minister. Joe Biden says Donald Trump is a real threat to American democracy. The US president's faced Republican backlash over last week, telling donors it was time to put Trump in the bullseye days before Sunday's assassination attempt. Biden's clarified that meant it was time to focus on the former president's actions and lies, but agrees the term bullseye was a mistake. He told NBC News he's still firm in his stance, pointing out Trump's threatened a bloodbath if he loses. You can't only love your country when you win. And so the focus was on what he's saying and, I mean, the idea. Trump's appeared at the Republican National Convention with a bandaged ear this afternoon but didn't speak. It's his first public sighting since Sunday. A Christchurch gang associates due in court charged with possessing drugs and an offensive weapon after a routine bail check by officers with a keen sense of smell. The 27-year-old was wanted for breaching bail at a Burnham address and arrested yesterday morning. Police say officers who smelt cannabis on the man found MDMA, cocaine, cash and drug supply items in his bag and vehicle. A sense getting health workers back from Australia won't be smooth sailing, despite hiring freezers in some Victorian hospitals. Health Minister Shane Reti is hopeful we can leverage the situation to attract people home. Salaried Medical Specialists Association Executive Director Sarah Dalton says there are hurdles. But our work will be cut out bringing people back from Australia. Their terms and conditions are far above anything we offer. This is something the Minister also needs to think about before we head back into bargaining for senior doctors and dentists. In New Zealand has outlined its plan to reclaim the Crown as the world's best airline. Airline ratings gave Qatar Airways the top spot for 2024, and Air New Zealand dropped from first last year to fourth. Chief Executive Greg Foran says Air New Zealand service is world class, but concedes their 20-year-old seats are dated compared to competitors. He says plans to refurnish are in train. That hard product needs changing, and we've been diligently working on that, and we are but months away from getting the first of that. To sport, and Warriors captain Tohu Harris is out for the rest of the NRL season after undergoing surgery on a chronic wrist injury. He'd been carrying the injury for months, forcing a four-week break in May. Meanwhile, Queensland coach Billy Slater has denied reports of a rift between the coaching staff and Selwyn Cobbo. Former Wellington Phoenix attacking midfielder Bozzy Darkraev has signed with the Western Sydney Wanderers in football's A-League. The Bulgarian has rejected the Kiwi side's offer of a contract extension. I'm Raylene Ramsey. That is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.